everybody, and welcome back to more of the uh, Amiibo Knight adventures. Uh, the last two videos were kind of slow to start off. I apologize. I needed to spend too much time trying to figure out what the rules are. But from here on out, I just wanted to jump straight into it. But first, I have to address the cliffhanger I left us off in in the very last video. I, after I got so excited, after I found Link's tunic. So I hope everybody placed their bets about if they thought I would be wearing the tunic in this episode or not. So let's see what ended up happening. Hey, I'm not wearing it. So I'd kind of decided I am going to keep it and I may wear it in the future after I get some enchanting stuff set up. But for the time being, I thought it'd be kind of game breaking right now since it has like 45 armor or something and my robes have zero so maybe in the future but for now I'm just going to stick strictly to robe and uh, magic hat and then light armor to fill in the other slots um, we left off last time with me summoning all these crates out of the sky from my amiibo army my breath of the wild amiibo army um, so yeah, I looted those, so I probably won't be, um, summoning any more this episode, since that, I haven't played any more since then, so that literally just happened, like, five seconds ago. So, our goal for this episode, I think, is going to be, um, just to get to Riverwood, maybe? Like I said, I'm not going to buy or sell anything unless it's a spell. Um, but maybe I can find some stuff in there to with my five-finger discount, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's just uh, spend some time kind of exploring, exploring the outside. I still got flame fingers on. Uh, I went ahead and turned on subtitles because I realized as I was editing the videos that it was kind of hard to hear what people were saying sometimes. And uh, I apologize for the um, the kind of slowed down jazz music I was... Uh-oh. What's going on over here? Uh, so slowed down jazz music um, just to kind of fill in the space because that starting area doesn't really have any any music or anything. So I just thought it might get kind of kind of boring just just hearing my voice so now that we're out in the world hopefully the atmospheric beautiful sounds of the Skyrim soundtrack can fill us in whoa I already have a oh yeah I do have leather because I <laughs> stole those rabbit things but I'm totally not going to do any of that since I can't sell anything <gasps> is that a spell? no the refugees boring that's not magic. Hide boot 6-1, that's not better than the Imperial stuff we have now. Uh, whoa, did I, okay, I was about to say. So like already in the starting slot. Ta-da! As you can see, I am a master of the uh, unlocking minigame. So, 16 weight, dang. Um, definitely take the gold, that potion, nope. I mean, here's going to be an issue, is things with enchantments till I can build up my list of enchantments. I am going to take that now, but let's think some of those, um, 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 I hear voices. I don't think so. You dead. I think there's another one behind me. Yeah. Sorry, I was just um, checking out your fine rabbit hides. Um, dang, magic's pretty awesome. I did almost run out of mana. I guess I'll stop taking. I don't know. Uh, I mean, they're way zero. I'm just gonna take them. I never did figure out what. Cutting wood was good for. I know you can use that to cut down 
Um, well, you can't cut down trees, but you can do like logging stuff. But I never... I guess that's just an ingredient you can use for stuff. I know in one town there's like some kind of weird mini game where there's a person that'll buy the wood off you for very little amount of money. That didn't seem worth it to me. But, I don't know, maybe there's a better reason for that. Like there is mining, I don't know. If, you know, let me know in the comments. Maybe I just missed it. Um, Cause I did think it's kind of weird that there's stuff to mine all over the place, but there's only, ooh, beehive. Yep. Only like one thing you can cut or mine with trees, if that makes any sense, but it probably doesn't. Um, most people are in the same thing. So back to my illegal looting. Get these sacks. I'll loot their sacks. Uh, I was rudely interrupted when I was looting that those rabbits and pheasants. Um, I already got that one, so I guess we're good here. So I've been playing a lot of Breath of the Wild again, the, making my way through the DLC, and um. Anytime I see a fire now, I feel like I want to make some food. It's kind of tough not to be able to just make your own cooking thing anywhere you are at any time. Um, that's where I came from. Is there anything going on up here? I probably do need to get in the habit of saving like every five feet, which is good, uh, good plan of action for most RPGs, especially this one. But even more so since I have zero, I think I have zero armor ranking right now. I don't know if you can actually, it's like a status screen, but <laughs> both of my his armor don't have any on them. So I'm sure I get wrecked real fast. So just out here exploring in the wilderness, uh, all alone. Um, speaking of Zelda, anytime I see like a suspicious-looking crevice like that, it makes me want to go back there and explore, thinking that I'll find a Korok seed or something. But Unfortunately not. This game doesn't have 900 random seeds that you can find. So, oh my, my weight, look, 83 of 300. It's not too bad. So, this might not be too bad, weight-wise. I was kind of worried. Oh, God. Hello, sir. I am just a... Traveler, just uh, walking the road, just no traveling. Like you doing out here. Go home to your mother. Uh, excuse you. Oh God. Um. That's right. But I am gonna save, and then I'm gonna go back and tell them you shouldn't talk to me like that, cause that is rude. You kiss your mom with that Why? mouth? What are you gonna do? Cry? Yeah, I am going to cry. Then I'm going to turn it into ice and kill you with it. Um, oh, that's a... So... What type of person is the Amiibo Knight? Is the Amiibo Knight the type of person that doesn't put up with any shenanigans? Or any... Any, uh... Frustrations? Is set off really easily? Or do I try to talk my way out of situations? Um, I'm going to let the game decide. Um, I wonder if Intimidate, if that just instantly goes to attack state. Well, uh, if that happens, let's see if I can beat this guy. And if I can beat him, then I'll play the game Intimidation. If he kills me, then I'll try to persuade. I don't have to take that from you. Yeah, you do. That's what I thought, boy. 
Run away! Yeah, hit us. Oh, gotta go! Please don't hit me. Mana's recharging. Please give me a couple seconds. Oh god! Oh no! He's so close! Oh! Ha ha! No! Ha ha ha! Okay, so the Amoeba Knight is not only magical badass, but she is going to become the Intimidation Master. Alright, so we'll play it that way. Any situation that is not going to be game breaking, I'll try to intimidate. If it's like a story beat, I don't know how comfortable I feel like doing intimidation stuff. If it's going to like make whole races of people and factions and stuff mad at me, but I guess that could be interesting. I don't know. We'll uh, see how I feel about that one, if that ever happens. So this is all heavy. Oh, that's not a dagger. So it's kind of a bummer. He has all this armor, but I can't really use any of it because the Amiibo Knight is the skinny, skinny person. Kind of has like a, a dorky death pose. Sorry, guy. I gave you no dignity in death. See, he probably was not. He, he saw me coming with my blue face and my stupid herb satchel and was like, this is gonna be easy. This guy coming up here talking to big game. Oh, crap. Ha <laughs> ha Oh. Roasted. Ro- okay. Double roasted. Yeah, I'm uh, kind of liking this whole fire. Um, let's try... Sparking it? I wonder... Oh. Kind of throws me off when it does the, like, kill cam. Alright, so far magic is uh, about a million times more fun than um, melee. So I do like swinging the swords and stuff, but in this game everything has different weights, so... You gotta kind of keep up with the camera when your body lunges forward to swing a big sword or whatever. Magic's like, uh, I'm just gonna back up away from you slowly and then blast you with lightning sparks out of my fingers. I hope that's okay. And then they die. Um, I also probably need to take some time to look up online or something. Um, potion recipes so for like um what the best mana potions and stuff like that are i know you can just randomly put ooh, i wonder if these people get mad at me for still the snow bears i know there's like the nice um kind of recipe book feature in this game but that only helps so much if you um, I don't know if you just keep going down the list and like try to combine everything in the world so it'd kind of be nice to know how many levels of different potions and stuff there are <sighs> habit is making me want to touch every single one of those that I see but I gotta get used to having to watch my weight Right now it's fine, but I know probably soon in the future it's going to be a pretty big issue. Is it a leak? Yeah, it is. Can I... Alright, so... Real quick save. And if you haven't... If I haven't made it clear already, I think I am going to go with... Um, kind of a Fifi build. I've thought it long and hard about it, and... I don't know, it may... It may make it easy. If it does, then I'll stop doing it if it seems like I'm getting too much stuff, but I don't know. I just enjoy sneaking around and trying to get uh, trying to get stuff without people waking up and stuff like that. I think it's an interesting mechanic. 
It's also fun when you burst into somebody's house and they haven't actually gone to sleep yet. So they're just kind of standing there by the door and they get all pissed off. <laughs> um, but, yeah. And I thought that, you know, the sneaking and pickpocketing makes sense since I can't really sell. I can't sell anything, so, you know, I'm only going to be able to take the stuff that I will use. So, that'll... I think that'll work. Do not want a wooden plate. Uh-oh. No, that's power. Bet they got that oh, it's a bandit hound. Okay. Well, now I don't feel bad about taking all this stuff. Whoa. Okay. Wish I could turn wood into gold. I could do a playthrough where I just attack everybody with a broom. I don't know. <laughs> If that's possible, but that would definitely be interesting. Um, who just has a table with a bunch of like random, random weaponry sitting on it? Bandits. That's who. Ooh. All these. Give me your. Uh, dang! All these meats. Give me the meats. The bandit meats. Um. Okay, so they're obviously downstairs doing something, doing some banditry. Um, so I'm gonna save again. We're gonna go downstairs, and what time is it? Can't save. Okay, is it showing the map? Uh, nope. Oh, 2:35 a.m. Is that guy singing? See, drunk singing in the bell. Oh, there goes your broom. That was not me. That was the physics of the game. What is this guy doing? Who stands in their basement, facing the wall, with a warhammer on their back, and just kind of stands there, staring at his deer head? Um. Who is he? This is creepy. Um. So I only have. Lightning and fire, right? Kill him with amoeba power. Does 8 damage to health and magicka. Okay, so... Okay. So I wonder how... You're supposed to know... I guess everybody has magicka, so it hurt everybody, but... I wonder how you tell which would be better to use. I would assume, like, big melee guys like this, probably. I wonder if I can pickpocket him. <laughs> Quick save again? Quick, can I pickpocket him and then kill Oh, you got nothing, dude. Come on. Yeah. I'm gonna set your house on fire. That's what you get. You better have more stuff on you next time. Bandit talking to yourself. It's creepy. Uh, I also see a lot of charcoal in this game. Is that used for anything? Is it like a crafting material that I just don't know about? I feel like I see that as much as I see like salt piles and bone meal and stuff, but I never found a use for it. Note to Rorlock. We got the right cart this time. The note has been sent and we'll see how they respond. In the meantime, we'll keep breaking down this stuff. You keep selling off the wood to keep our front. If we can get a good prize for the mold, we should be set for a while. Oh, and we left some wine for you in a bucket behind the shelf. Consider it a bonus. Regal strong arm. The mold king. Who sells mold? Who buys mold? That's a better question. Oh, is that a button? Is that a <laughs> awkwardly placed button? Okay, this is not how I was expecting to start the series. I um, guess that's part. Oh, a cooking pot I can cook. Um, any other ingredients in here? There's bread. I probably don't need wine since it does stamina. I don't. Did I just take that mace? I don't need. Definitely don't need that hat. I don't know why I took that. Um. 
some of the stuff in this game is just like, I'm sure it's there for, see more charcoal. Um, for like world building or whatever, but like, why, why is there just so much stuff in this game? Why, what am I using a basket for? Am I gonna take that all the way to my house to just like put in a corner somewhere? Why are there so many children's dolls? Blue robes. Those are cool. I might just take those because they're blue. Can have like an all, all blue mage. More stuff. Um, some troll fat. Yes, I will. More random daggers. Man, there's a lot of, a lot of daggers. So let's uh, let's get some cooking on real fast. See if we can make anything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I can. Um, so let's see. Store health and stamina. Store health and stamina. Health, 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 stamina, health. Maybe all food is health and stamina. So, 15, 15 stamina. Ten. Ooh, excuse me. Store. Store 10 points of health, 8 stamina. 5 health, 10 health. It's so probably just gonna go. Might as well do three of the vegetables since those are like over time. Oh, these can get dangerous since they weigh so much. Potato soup. Does that need potatoes and salt? Some of these are real light. Man, I have a lot of rabbit legs. Um, what's going on up here? Yeah, those are really heavy. I'll just make all the rabbit, give me them rabbit haunches, just in case. And then, can I make some pheasant? Can I make, just make a potato soup just for the heck of it. Make one of each. Oh, nope, just two. Let's, my, let's check my weight real fast. Already 118. Um, I think there was some stuff I accidentally picked up, so we can drop some of this stuff. I picked up a bee at some point, and he's just living with me now. And a lot of this I'll eat really fast, probably. Blood freezing potion that does five... Potions I... or er, um... not potions, poisons I never really used. I know there's a... supposedly you can... When you pickpocket people, you can put poison in their pocket. So I don't know if that's like if you're just literally supposed to pickpocket them, and then like when you're at the item selection screen, you just choose an item, you choose the poison from your um, inventory to put in their inventory. But I don't really know why, like what situation you would need that for. Like why would you use that instead of just like. Attack, like sneak attacking them or something like that. Like would you put poison in their pocket and then run away and just kind of watch them get hit for this one says it hits them for a whopping four seconds. So I don't know if it's just like supposed to be used as an extra you know debuff on somebody then you attack them? I don't know. Um, maybe I'll mess with that later see how that... I'll drop the shield. See how that goes. Maybe I'll like. Maybe it'll make sense to me when I actually do it. I don't know. Oh, I guess I also apparently have the bastard sword, uh, just for. That's my morale booster. If I'm ever feeling feeling sad, I'll just remember all the trials and tribulations that every link has gone through, and it'll just boost my spirits and motivate me to be a better mage. Never give up. Um, so far I'm not really seeing... Oh, drop that mace. Yeah, I probably don't need the wine. 50 stamina. Yeah. So, okay, so we're down to 100. So, 
we've been playing for all of 20 minutes, and apparently I'm already a third full. So, I don't know. That seems like it could be an issue. Um, but before, I think we'll save the whatever's going on down here for next time. Um, I'm going to try to keep these videos to around... 20 25 minutes or something i don't want them to go on too long so yeah i want to keep everybody's attention and i want to respect y'all's time so anyways i hope you all enjoyed the beginning adventures of the amoeba night um next time i'll be um going down into the cave and seeing what's down there um so yeah me and the blue-faced amiibo mage. We'll see y'all next time.